Hey guys, how's it going? So today's resource pack is called the Equanimity Resource Pack for Minecraft 1.7.4. Now this is a 32 by 32 resource pack that is mainly a different version or a different take of what the default texture should be. This could clearly be more of a, I guess you can kind of say medieval kind of style. But that's just my opinion and you guys will see some of the amazing textures put into this pack throughout this entire review. But anyways you guys, let's go ahead and continue on with this review. My voice will still be calm because I just, I don't know, it feels like it's a very very lovely day to be recording a resource pack isn't that right little wolf but let's go ahead and continue with what i'm you know here for you guys to do or for you guys to see that we have a lot of different textures put into this pack the creator did in fact spend over 12 maybe more than 12 hours a day trying to work on this pack according to his description he says that a lot of the resource a lot of the textures that are put into this average about five minutes and each to create like the five minutes each to create some of the images that you guys will see throughout this pack i know i'm being a little bit iffy or iffy because kind of waiting on people to come over and i don't want to be like recording and then like being too focused but i'm doing this because it's monday and it's two days off from christmas so if, if any moment i take a break during this week it has to be between tomorrow and wednesday so you can clearly see that the fire animation has been changed inside the beacon, the ender dragon, and the enderman have not been changed, but only terrain wise like obsidian and endstone have been. So next you have the sugar canes and the iron bars, then we have the cobblestone, the stone, the diamond, the gold, the iron, the coal, the lapis lazuli, and the redstone. Then we have the bedrock, the iron block, gold block, diamond block, lapis block, and just pretty much every other texture that you come across inside your minecraft experience. As you guys can see, some of the textures do in fact look like they have been a diff well obviously they're a different take on what the default texture should be because you can clearly see it from the pumpkin and the jack-o-lantern the mycelium the tnt even the glass blocks themselves are a lot more noticeable than some resources that just kind of have it like cleared out and you know snow blocks nether bricks the melon then we have the nether rack the pumpkins are being harvested and then we have the wheat and the nether fence and then right here we have the nether portal you can already see that the nether portal does have different shades and all that and then right here we have the nether i know i kind of like kind of edited you know it was like a split thing kind of going on over there it's because i had to answer a very important call but anyways right here is another right the, well the nether world obviously you can see the gas like flying a little too close i've never seen one actually hovering around the area where i come into right here we have the fire animation and then we have the new lava flow which looks all molten like it actually came out of a volcano and that is good because we need textures like that but you can clearly see that the mobs have not been changed, at least to my knowledge and from what I'm looking at. And that's what- they're, okay, there's two ghasts. Okay, I'm leaving. And now it's raining! And then right here we have the oak tree, and then the spruce, the birch, and then the jungle tree. And then right here is the water animation or the still water. You guys can clearly see that it's a little bit more fitting to like the swamp biome, as you guys can see. And then we have the lever, repeater, comparator, soul, sand, wrestling, torch, the power rail, the glowstone, the furnace, the enchantment table, the mostly used anvil, the partly used anvil, and the freshly new anvil. Then we have the jungle plank, the jungle block, and then the emerald block, emerald ore, and the emerald design in the middle. Then we have the ender chest and the chisel block. Look at the ender chest. It does look like something. But unfortunately, GUI has not been changed as much as I wish it kind of did, but when I... When you're looking at the menu, it kind of has like a its own little background layer kind of going on. Then we have the quartz block, the another quartz ore, then the quartz block, the chiseled pillar, block of redstone, hopper, dropper, activator rail, and snow paint surrounding the gravel. And then we have some items inside the picture frames. So this pack is somewhat completed. I think it was mainly more towards the environment rather than items so i don't think the diamond armor is actually changed but i will still be double checking towards the end of the review then we have the cobblestone wall the milestone wall then we have the pot and you can clearly see that the mobs themselves have not been changed so there would not be any with their boss showing in this review and even the beacon right here has been changed look at that i mean i look at it it looks fancy it looks mighty fancy i know i said that the mobs have not been changed but i'm just gonna go kind of like walking by to double check because even the mushrooms only mushrooms are the only things that change around them but it does look like everything else has been left the same except for like the signs and you know the wooden planks and all that stuff so i would not be going in that direction so there are some more flowers right here that have been added from 1.7 redstone torches on the right side redstone torch at the very end and then we have the lighter color wool on the left side and the darker color wool on the right side and then we have ladders because i use these to escape my zombies and then we have the slabs and then the stairs and then we have the flowing water, 
the cactus right there in the back, and then some more signs. And then we have some wooden pressure plates on top of the cobblestone. Then we have glowstones, levers, trap doors, stone pressure plates, iron door, wooden door, and you know, just pretty much everything else that has been added. I think like the rest of the wiring has been left the same, even the little pads and the mushrooms. So more rails on the right side, sticky piston on the right, regular piston on the left, glass paint surrounding the lava so they don't burn up this place. And then some more sponges. Cake is a lie. Right here's the note block. And then the jukebox player. It's funny because the note block and the jukebox player kind of remind me of like a both feel. Kind of like we get some Vikings, you know, we get the Viking armor and we just go over there and we sing like, we call each other it's like Olaf and all that stuff. No? Alright, I guess that was the only one that was kind of like psyched for it. And then right here is the bed. The cauldron, the enchantment table again, and the brewing stand, and the bookshelves. But I don't see any DC comics or Marvel. Whatever. And then right here we have, you know, just like I said, I, I honestly think that this resource pack was only meant for environment, not for item wise. Which is still alright because you still get the most out of this pack just basically looking at the entire terrain. And then right here we have the light sensor, heavy sensor, and the daylight sensor. And then inside this chest we have the lead and all that stuff like the four of the horses. So on the bottom is a different color carpets and the top is a different color dye for clay. And I'm just gonna go through this. The reason why I said it quickly is because, well, now you guys already pretty much know what's everything by now. And then we have the haystack, the block of coal, and some more carpets. Yeah. And then as you guys know, 1.7 did introduce some tall grass as you guys saw there. Kind of reminds me of Pokemon. Then the new dirt, which is called, I believe, Podzol or Apcot. I think it was Podzol, right? Podzol. And then the red sand, and then the acacia wood, and then the dark oak wood. So you guys can see that the textures do go along with the terrain. You can see it going into more like an autumn feel, and it's mostly because we're near a swamp biome. And you can see how some of them are dark and some are not. And then we hear the different colored tints for glass. You want to see the world in a different like perspective? Choose your glass, choose your weapon, and see the world as it is. Like this pink one. The reason why I keep going to the pink ones is because it's pink because it's pink. So like I said, I don't think the, uh, the armor and the weapons have been changed at all. So I'm just gonna go with the armor and double check. And yep, I was right. So anyways, you guys, that's pretty much it for this review. It, I believe this was probably a smaller, uh, more straightforward kind of review than any other resource pack that I've done across in a while. Oh, something I did forget to mention. Inside this chest are the different color stained uh, glass paints. And so the glass blocks like I have over there and a the different fish like butter puffer fish cooked salmon, clownfish, and the raw salmon. Yeah. I know I forgot that chest for some reason in other 1.7 reviews, but that's pretty much it. So anyways, you guys, take care, peace out, and have a great week. And I mean, have a great week, happy holidays, and hope you guys have a great Christmas day, because I'm going to be eating so much food. Like, yeah, comida. But no, seriously, you guys, take care, peace out, and have a great day.